Hello everybody and welcome back to the Van Invites After Breath Plus Retreat Tradition. We are back again with the Eden streak and we are on a win streak of eight. It is going unreasonably well. So let's jump in and see what terrible start we have this time. Um, honestly, honestly, another really, really good start. Bad HP, kind of. Oh, LSD, lovely. But we're starting with the White Horse, White Pony, which is giving us flight. So honestly, not going to complain at all about that. Uh, also, starting with uh, this little dude here, little Navi, um, pretty nice. We're able to, um, we'll, we'll take a little gish as well. We're able to find secret rooms a hell of a lot easier. Tinted rocks a hell of a lot easier. It's all good. Boom. Okay. This LSD is uh, is is kind of crazy. I kind of forgot how weird this pill was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This pill is very strange. But we have started with two bombs as well. But yeah, this is an unreasonably good start. And honestly, I do feel like we've been starting with above average stats a lot as Eden. It's actually making me think that maybe something in Ipecac or another mod is changing how stats are rolled for Eden. Because, like, I swear, when I normally do unmodded or when I used to do unmodded Eden streaks, like... 95% of the runs that you did had less than 3.5 damage and more than 10 fire rate. Almost every time. And we've had that very rarely so far. But honestly, the stats are good, but they, they don't matter the most. What matters the most here is that we got... Um, we're definitely going to reroll that. I don't want to use that. Um, is the fact that we got uh, flight to start. Flight to start is so good. Also, lots of pennies. Lots of pennies. Uh, ooh, there you go. Definitely take that. All stats up. Not exactly the best all stats up going, but still a very good one nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, we don't want to get hit because this is a case of the labyrinth floor. So we can try and get a deal with the devil here. Uh, no more bombs left. I would very much like to um, to get into those though. Let's just quickly destroy these poops because we already got three coins from poops. We might as well keep, keep this game going and see what we can get. Um, we do have an Anzus rune. I can't remember what Anzus does. Uh, full mapping for this floor. Uh, we don't really need that this floor, I don't think. Okay, there's another tinted rock. There we go. Really? Okay. Uh, we got ourselves a blue bomb, which I've never seen before. I'm going to guess that's blanking bullets. Basically, yeah. Uh, destroying all projectiles. Yeah, they're like blanks. Blue bombs. Kind of cool. But that gives us five bombs, which um, does indeed allow us to bomb something over here that I was thinking of bombing. I can't remember what it was now. Nothing. It, oh, it was the uh, secret room, wasn't it? Of course. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There's an enemy in here. And it's a hard one. I could definitely lose some HP to this guy. Okay, that was close. Um, Repentance. Ooh, I'm looking forward to Repentance. Real all collectibles in the room. Real all pickups into, the other, into other pickups of the same kind. Do you know what? That was really dumb because we just lost our mapping. But I got a soul heart and that's keeping my deal with the devil going. So I am not going to complain. <laughs> it somehow worked out. It somehow worked out. Also, that worked out fantastically. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. This is a, a very good start. The deal with the devil could could end up being something that really kickstarts this run and makes it even better. Uh, been uh, looking into and reading a lot about Repentance recently, and I mean a lot, like the blog posts. I watched um, Alexa, actually, uh, the, the YouTuber Alexa. Um, he actually did an interview with Ed very recently, which was really cool. Wait, what? How do we get down there? What? What is this? Oh, here we go. 99 bombs. I can take 99 bombs. And a soul heart here. What the hell is this? We're getting so lucky. I swear I'm getting like unbelievable, unprecedented luck on this on this uh this streak so far. It's great. Uh we've got the wrath transformation on floor one. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure we're explosive immune now. Um we can get burger bombs as well. Oh my god, why the hell not? Let's get burger bombs. Why the hell not? I'm sorry, reroll uh donation machine. 
It's not like we're going to need him, but now we can blank the shit out of every single thing. Yeah, I just have to test. This is really dumb if it doesn't work. Okay, we are explosive immune. Good. That's great to know. Okay, yeah, this is just unprecedented amount of amount of great. Using bombs for combat. Oh, wait. I think Wrath's, I think the Wrath there transformation makes you sometimes place two bombs and sometimes place bombs while shooting. All of this is brilliant. All of this is so very amazing. This is kind of why I picked up Burgo bombs because I expected we'd be using our bombs a lot for combat. But oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy with this run already. It's so good. Like, even if our tier stat was really bad, I, I don't think I've ever had a transformation on floor one. No, I, I think I have, but it's very rare that you have a transformation on floor one. I've never had a modded one. And then super bandage as well. What is this game? What is this game? This is brilliant. I want all the bomb synergies. Give me more. Uh, we'll take that. Let's see what our deal the devil's got going. Okay, so we've got this, which we'll definitely take. And then Azazel's Horn. Plus one Blackheart. Blackhearts activate their spec. Yeah, why the hell not? Why the hell not? And then down we go. And oh my god. Is this a one run? And I, what, I was, what I was saying about looking into Repentance quite a lot recently, one of the things that, that uh, especially on the Alexa interview, which, by the way, was fucking awesome. Congratulations, Alexa. That was great. Um, my God. That was super cool little tune there. Oh, my God. We're getting so lucky. This is absurd. I can't believe I got hit by that then. Um, one of the things that uh, they, they spoke about a lot was, was the difficulty of the game and the fact that in, in Isaac currently, as you can possibly see, it's very, very, very easy to win if you're a, like, even slightly above average skill player because you get lucky. Like, there are so many items and things that are essentially instant win. And he, he, he said that one thing that he strived to do and one thing that he thinks they've achieved is making the game much more difficult, um, especially if you're playing on hard mode. Apparently hard mode is actually a bit harder now. Making the game much more difficult, but in, in, a, in a very fun way. In sort of those ways where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I just survived that. What a clutch moment. And you have a lot more of those clutch moments. He said, in testing and stuff, that's been a big thing. And he was saying that Kilburn, um, Vin, who's been the main coder for uh, Repentance and who was the lead uh, person that made... Um, the, the lead person that made the, uh, the anti-birth... Uh, he's he's really really good at Isaac apparently and he's been like making bosses and giving them to Ed to test and Ed's been like holy fuck How are you able to kill this thing? It's way too hard. So Vin, uh, Vin's been making a lot of the bosses like really really hard um, I just kind of find that funny. So we're gonna see a lot more difficulty in the bosses We're gonna see a lot more difficulty in the balance of the game a lot of OP insta win items have been changed So that things he said stuff along the lines of some of them have had more uh, charges added to them Which I imagine is gonna be like a book of revelations and um, Satanic Bible. I reckon there'll be 12 room charges now. I, I, I'm i almost guaranteeing there'll be 12 room charges. Um, and then like a lot of really weak items have been buffed, like Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie have had fire rate increases and stuff. There's just a lot of stuff that's gone into changing it to make sure the difficulty is, is more balanced and more fun. Also, that enemy can suck a dick. <laughs> Got telefragged immediately by him. Ah, it's a, it's, it's a cool enemy nonetheless. I just misplayed it because I was stood still like a moron. Just don't stand still, dummy. And I'll be fine. But yeah, it's just been super fun reading about it. Of course, he did a, a blog post very recently as well, like yesterday, about true co-op. True co-ops getting added, which is awesome to see. I mean, we, we, we kind of knew it was coming for a long time. He did, he did a poll about it like a year ago, maybe longer, asking what people would like to see in terms of co-op. And everyone said true co-op because... It's better. <laughs> it's a lot better. Um, so, yeah, he, he took that on board and he's added True Corp, which is fantastic. I'm really happy to see that come to the game. Uh, it's going to be super fun and probably going to mean that I do some sort of co-op series on my channel. Um, whether it be with subscribers, maybe my girlfriend. My girlfriend's really into Isaac. Uh, she, she plays Isaac a lot, so that's another possibility. Oh, when you get the perfect beams. When the beams are on point. Uh, yeah, and it's it's just, it's looking so good. I mean, it's like, 
what we're like 12 days away now from it um i have a, a pretty big surprise coming for um i kind of want to take no i don't know it's no we'll keep the damage if, if if i didn't have this trinket already i'd definitely take no here but i gotta say i want to keep this um i want to keep this unless we find flight this is definitely what i want to keep um, but yeah, so I, it's like 12 days away. I, like I said, I have a pretty big surprise coming when, um, when Repentance releases something that I'm immensely proud of. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to you guys, um, seeing and, uh, and hearing about it. Like I, I, I do, I do think it's going to influence, hopefully influence the channel, uh, at least a little bit, um, in a positive way. So I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to you guys being able to find out about that um which you should be relatively soon um and yeah we're, we're getting we're getting closer and closer uh it's it's a little scary it's a little scary it's, it's gonna be quite a big thing for my channel so it's kind of uh it's kind of a a pretty big step and it's most likely i've kind of said this before on these videos but it's most likely gonna be that repentance kind of takes over into the gungeon as my main game like this channel will be a bit more focused on um binding of isaac content and in doing that i might do some extra tutorials or reviews of things in repentance like i i really i don't want to take the limelight away from the from the from the true the true tutorial people out there like Alexa. I know that he'll be on it with how to unlock Bethany and Jacob and Izao the day that it comes out. I know that there'll be there'll be tutorials about that. So I probably won't end up making those sort of things. But if there's other ones that people want, then I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely give it a go. I'll see what I can do. Of course, uh, as many of you will know, I got a lot of my um, subscribers. Oh, what the hell? That's a bit evil. I got a lot of my subscribers from. Um, doing tutorials of things for enter the gungeon when uh, the farewell to arms update the final update came out i did some stuff on that and that they went wild they got really really high views so it's kind of it's kind of tempting to go for that again but at the same time no one was really doing that whereas i know that there's a there's at least two or three people out there that already do isaac tutorials and i think there's kind of this youtube etiquette of like you if someone if someone has a really unique selling point so someone has a thing that they very clearly do you kind of just let them do it uh you don't try and steal their thunder you don't try and um and try and steal the views from under their feet so to say uh so i do kind of want to just like leave those to alexa because that's kind of what he does I don't want to try and steal his thunder or look like I'm trying to pull the rug from, from out from under him. Because the, the thing is, while of course Alexa's a lot more established and would get more views than my videos anyways, if I somehow manage to release mine first, which I know isn't possible, but if I somehow manage to release mine first, then it's poten it, it's it, they could potentially do better than his because when, it, when an update comes out, people want to know the information as soon as possible. Especially if it's some, something that isn't obvious when you start playing the game. I, I imagine Bethany's unlock will be super obvious, or maybe even she won't have one. She might just be ready from the get-go. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, but we'll, we'll end up having to see. But either way, yeah, I'm probably just going to leave those to Alexa and give give him that because that's kind of what he does. Um, sulfur, kind of nice. Um, both stuff I don't really want, though. I'm keeping, I'm keeping this. Let's keep going. Um, but, yeah, oh, it's just 12 days. 12 days people that's insanely close i'm so happy i'm i'm so i just i just can't wait like the the, the the one thing i have to keep reminding myself is remember it's a massive update it's huge it will be littered with balance issues and bugs for the first two weeks it will be absolutely littered with them i'm sure there will be within within two hours of the update releasing i guarantee there is two massively game-breaking bugs found because unfortunately when you have fucking a hundred thousand two hundred thousand people playing an update all on release day it's a little bit more effective than having eight people test over the course of three months uh so we'll most likely end up seeing a huge amount of bugs found so i've just got to remind myself that the scale of repentance with how big it is and how much content they're adding there is bound to be a lot of bugs like 
I think that's one thing a lot of people forget. And it's kind of like cyberpunk. It, it's kind of where that sits. But that that's definitely a bit more of a, of a, of a, a worse way of it happening. They, they were definitely just rushing that update out because the investors wanted them to. Rushing the game out, should I say. But at the same time, the, the scale of the game is absolutely massive. That's why there's so many bugs. It, however long you spend on development, however many new things you add, you basically add the potential for 10 more bugs. And if you don't spend two weeks testing that one thing, then you're going to have a bunch of bugs, especially things like bosses. And the, the, the thing is with Isaac as well, there's so many specific interactions with certain certain items and trinkets and, and different things in the game that there is bound to be one or two interactions that weren't tested because they seemingly didn't make any difference. But when you come to the actual game, you'll attach a nose gobbling to one of the new bosses during one of its attack phases where it's immune and it'll soft lock the game. There's, there's just random stuff like that. Like you never know what's going to cause it. And sometimes it's stuff that you just don't think about considering there's like 500 items. But there's sure to be a few interactions, a few things with some of the new enemies or bosses that will end up causing some negative thing like a soft lock or even a crash. Um, and I, it, like, I think, I think a lot of people, I don't know how many people don't think like this. I, 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 I'm not actually sure. Many people might just think like I'm thinking right now, but I think everyone needs to go into this realizing, right, this is one of the best updates ever released for the game. This is one of the coolest things they've ever added, but at the same time, give them the benefit of the doubt. This is going to be buggy. They've had like... They've been, I don't know. I don't exactly know how many people they've had working on this. Uh, now we've got the pride transformation as well. Oh my god, this is good. Uh, I don't exactly know how many people they've had working on this, but it's it's not enough to have ironed out every bug that exists. I can tell you that for sure. Plus three look, thank you. Yeah, I can tell you that for sure. They, you, you've. You, I think everyone's just got to give them the benefit of the doubt and make sure. I think most people will, honestly. I very highly doubt anyone's going to be out there giving it bad reviews on Steam because they got soft locked on a boss. I think a lot of people that that happens to do in the first two weeks will go, shit, it's unlucky, unfortunate, it'll get fixed with time. Or at least I'm hoping. Some people are unreasonable. Some people cannot be uh, reasoned with so easily. But yeah, you'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just hoping that... That it doesn't have a sh uh, a bit of a shaky launch, which honestly I don't think it will have too much of a shaky launch, just because Vin's the one that's making it, uh, Kilburn, and he is a legend, and um, and they have even said that this past like two months they've dedicated to testing, so I don't think it will be too shaky. I think it might be a little, but I'm just hoping that if it is shaky, people don't judge it too hard and don't give it too much of a bad rap because it doesn't deserve it, um, and. It'll, it'll just be teething issues. It'll just end up being stuff that gets ironed out within the first few weeks and no one has to worry about. Uh, right, where's our item room? Also, yeah, we're pride now, so we get extra pride stuff. Oh, ho, ho, the blank bullets are so good. Like, it's, it's great that it's not the bomb explosion. It's placing the bomb that does it. Because it, it just makes it so much more useful. And it knocks everything back as well. It's just, it's just nice. It's just real nice. Um, and here we get pinball. Yes. I love pinball. Pinball is fun. Get that with whipped cream and you've got yourself a combo for the gods. Right. Anyways, let's carry on. Let's keep it going. And yeah, like as as we just get closer and closer to rep, it's just going to be more and more of me. Of me just non-stop talking about it. Also, nice. We got ourselves a boy. We got ourselves a boy. I'm very happy to see Meat Boy and me being Meat Boy as well. It's the double Meat Boy show. Uh, soybean. 5% chance to fire a tier that activates a Butterbean explosion on contact. Scales to 15% at 7 luck. Monsters uh, directly struck by a Soybean tier leave a Linger Bean. Okay, we'll take that. Oh my god, that was a lot already. So we are going to be knocking things around like a lot. <laughs> also, I'm loving these pinball tiers that are just going off. Uh, let's just pop this. Why not? I mean, it's only one more boss, but like we're not we're not using it yet. So why the hell not? Oh shit! 
it pushed him while he was in midair somehow. He didn't jump where I expected him to. But yeah, that's a, that's a cool item, Soybean. I like that. Um, but yeah, one thing he was talking about as well, Edmund, in the uh, call with Alexa in the interview, about saying, like, looking at other mods that are out there. And he, he was saying that he essentially has been completely avoiding the modded community since they started on Rep about three years ago because he doesn't want to inadvertently steal from other creators. Even though I guarantee any creator that saw that item added officially by Ed would fucking shit their pants. They'd be like, holy fuck, this is amazing. Anyone would be like, that's not stealing. I don't give a damn. My item's in the game. Fuck you. I reckon that's pretty much what every mod creator would say. But... At the same time, I do understand it. I do understand it. He's he's abstained from looking at too much modded stuff because he doesn't want to inadvertently take from those mods. Because he respects he, he respects the creative process. He's he he knows he he knows it very well, and he knows how much work people put into certain things. Like he he's he's a very respectful person. And it seems that he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, and also, I think he just wants to prove to people that he's not checked out. Like, I think a lot of people, when Afterbirth Plus came out, he actually touched on this as well in the call with Alexa. De people should definitely go watch that. It's really good. But, um, I, I think that a lot of people think that, that when Afterbirth Plus came out, it was obvious that Ed had just checked out and stopped. And he basically said in the interview that he did. Like, it, some, some really bad family matters happened. Like, really personal stuff that, that affected him really badly. And he said that he just completely shut down and gave up. Like, it, it, it ruined him as a person for a while. Um, and, yeah, so a lot of people were like, Ed's checked out. Ed's not making good items anymore. He's not making good decisions anymore. Can't believe Nicholas did this. All this sort of crap. Um... But I think I think a lot of this, a lot of like the ideas and rep and the items, I know that Kilburn has done a lot of the work, a lot of the lifting, but I'm sure Ed has a ton of his own ideas in there. And I think he wants to just kind of say, hey, look, guys, I still have good ideas for Isaac. I, I still I still know what's good. <laughs> like, and that's cool. I'm, I'm glad that he's doing that. Because because honestly, when, <laughs> when Fast Bombs got released, everyone was kind of like, Ed, aw. <laughs> what, what's this for? <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, it gave you seven bombs. That's good, at least. This pinball thing is going wild. Going absolutely... Uh, how did I not notice that? I was looking right at the map when I walked through that door. Well, yeah, this is another just classically good run. It's It's got some wacky... A little bit of wacky stuff in it with Soybean and... Um, with Soybean and... Bouncy pinball tears. I'm actually just going to quickly go back to the shop and see if I can buy some HP. Because it's getting a little lower than I thought it would be back at this point. No, I cannot. Oh, one moment. I stopped my recording for that. And it's, hello, this is a Majesty's Revenue Service. And you owe us 600 heads. No, fuck off. Go away. I owe you nothing. I actually watched a video quite recently and anyone that the anyone that exists should watch this video. It's great. Um Mark Rober, I think his name is, uh the the ex NASA uh guy. He does a lot of like experiments experiment videos on his channel. Uh and they're fantastic. He's he's, he's I gotta say his channel's very popular. You've probably seen something from him before. But anyways, recently he did a video with a guy called um Jim Browning, who Jim is also a, a fantastic channel. I've watched many of his videos before as well. Um, he basically, Jim Browning, his, his channel is outing scammers. Like he, he answers the phone or, or like calls the number on the, on the pop-ups. And when they try to access his PC remotely, he accesses their PC remotely and outs them and reports them to the police. It's pretty great. Like, his channel's amazing. Um, and they, they recently teamed up to, like, basically um, help get a bunch of people's money back and shut down a scamming a scamming uh, thing. And Jim Browning, uh, so they both released a video. But in Jim Browning's video, he actually showed that he managed to scam a scammer, which was fantastic. This guy, obviously in India, I think he's in Calcutta or something like that. I say it obviously, that's a bit, that's a bit mean, but a lot of them are from India. Um, uh, yeah, and he he managed to get the guy and say like, oh hey, I can't send you the money yet. I don't like, I, I, I've, oh no, he's, I think he said, I've sent you the money, it's on its way, but it's going to take a week and I have no money to, to live on. I've sent you like 12,000 pounds and I've got no money to actually uh, 
pay for food and they get he was like i'll i'll make sure the money gets to you but can you send me a hundred pound uh walmart gift card so i can buy my shopping and the guy did it he spent a hundred pound and then he and then he revealed himself like turned off his voice changes and so he didn't sound like an old lady and was like i've literally just scammed you and the funny thing is the scammer was like i can't believe this this is awesome <laughs> he was like that's so cool that you managed to scam me what the hell the scammer just didn't give a shit at all. Like, goddamn, those people are so morally corrupt. The worst part about scamming, like, I say the worst part. It's not actually the worst part. But one of the really bad parts about scamming is it just gives India such a bad name. Like, India is such a large place, and there's so many people there that are probably just lovely and normal and good people. And it just gives them such a terrible such a bad, bad name. Like, so many people associate India with scamming because a lot of the scammers are from India. Um, and yeah, like it just gives the, the entirety of, of India and Indians as a whole quite a bad name. And I, I, I've i seen comments and heard people talk about it and say how like annoying it is to be associated with those people when you have absolutely nothing to do with them. Which the thing is like a like 97, probably more than that percent of everyone in India is nothing like that. Uh, so like that's one of the big things about Jim Browning as well. He, he tries to kind of say like, look, I'm trying to disprove that this is a small percentage of people, but still. Uh, but it's great, yeah. I, I I love that video. You should all go watch it. Um, and the like, the out a hacker, uh, a hacker, a scammer, and they actually get one arrested by the police as well. <laughs> and all of the uh, all of the information they ended up sending. I see you there, door mimic. Uh, all the information they ended up sending, um, like got like different investigations started and stuff. It was really good. Like, a lot of work went into it, and apparently they're working on another video as well now. They're going to go to one of the call centers and, like, infiltrate it, which sounds really cool. Um, oh my god, that's a lot of boys. I'm going to actually play this dude because I really want some bomb upgrades. Like, bomb upgrades would be great right now. And he is just going to give us our bombs back as we play him. Bomb beggars are kind of stupid. <laughs> nope. Nope. Stop trying to bomb my bomb beggars. Fuck you. No. It's why do they catch why are they so insistent on fucking killing themselves? It's so annoying. Just pay out with a bomb upgrade, please. Stop just giving me my bombs back. Oh my god, please, pay out with a bomb upgrade, come on. What the fuck's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, child? Oh my god, this is worthless. You're worthless, god damn it. I've given you so many bombs. What more could you want? <laughs> this is just silly. Oh, for fuck's sake. And now he's killed himself. You're such a shithead. <laughs> such a shithead. Oh, my God. God damn it. <laughs> so stupid. Right. Well, that was a waste of time. Honestly. Fucking... Bomb beggars are the worst. They're actually less than worthless. All they give you is bombs back, and then they just kill themselves. It's like, dude, I wanted a payout from you. Also, White Pony has been so fucking good with its, um, with its holy strikes. Ugh. Okay, we didn't have to, we didn't have to suffer for too long in this room. Good. We are not really getting what we want here. I don't know what health we're on either. I think we've been hit a few times on this floor, but not too many. Come on, boys. Mask of Infamy, that's fucking great stuff. Very, very nice. I didn't actually realize for the longest time, Mask of Infamy is a 50% chance to block damage. I always thought it was like 20 or like 15. I thought it was really low. It's not. It's incredibly high. 50% chance to block damage. That's like one of the better items in the game. It's underrated, I think. And it's like, it is rated, and I still think it's underrated. 
Right. Oh, look at that. The beams are doing so well for us. Got him. Thank you. And down we go. Still, this, this run is in the bag. Completely, well and truly in the bag. Hey, Wrath. I'm you. I am you, Wrath. But I will not be taking that. Really? That didn't hit? There's a soul heart. Back up to full HP. We've got these golden hearts. Not that they'll be doing anything for us. Okay, that was kind of stupid. I have to admit. I don't know how this guy got goldified. I think golden hearts do that now, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I tried using my blank bomb and accidentally used my space bar for some reason. Even though the, the, the keys are nowhere near each other. Absolutely nowhere near each other. It's just me being stupid. I pressed both at the same time in kind of a panic. I just didn't want to deal with this. I can't believe I just got hit by one of them guys. That's so dumb. I've taken so much damage here. This is... This is way too much damage to be taking on this floor. Come on now. This, this run's in the bag. Come on. I just, I just said that. I shouldn't be dying on a run that's in the bag. It's forbidden. There you go. Another secret room. Especially not with this bomb thing going on. I really don't care about the money at this point. Like, what am I going to spend it on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stop it. Oh, Mask of Infamy just saved my life. Thank you, Mask of Infamy. Didn't want to get hit there, so Mask of Infamy was like, no, no, no. What the hell? My horsey keeps getting me screwed over. Stop it. I keep thinking it's going to kill the thing I ride into and not contact damage me. And then it contact damages me. Evil. Fistula. What up, Fistula? My pinballs will get you. Do not worry. Okay, let's 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 try actually focusing on the game for a hot minute, shall we? We haven't done that all episode. I think it's about time that we take a little bit time of our own to just oh my god, please don't shoot. Yes. Just to focus on what's going on in the game because yeah, we haven't done that in a little while and it's proving proving to not be great. Proving to not be great. Okay, good. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't believe I got hit by that. I should have come in here with White Pony as well. Not coming in here with White Pony was a mistake. Oh, Mask of Infamy, thank you for saving me. I actually can't believe how much damage I've taken this, this past few floors. This is bad. Some dumb stuff by me. Some real dumb stuff. What the hell? Are these attacks, mum? You don't normally throw spiders on my head. Why are you doing it now? Deal the devil saved me. Well then. It, it literally did. Thank you, deal the devil. Although, I don't know. Should I take the nail? It's, it's insanely good. But at this point, like, it might be a little late. For the nail. Like, losing two red hearts is a pretty big deal. And flight. Yeah, let's not take it. Like, I was tempted there. But honestly, yeah, I, I do think that the nail could be the wrong choice. Because all, all it takes is a few bad rooms here. And that's all of our soul hearts gone. Okay. Convert red poops to regular poops. Why is that a rusted pipe? Why would that do that? I don't know. Either way. Let's be very cautious. Very careful. Full calm collected. And try and kill these uh, these stupid little fart babies. Oh my god, this is a hard room. This room isn't nightmare fuel at all. My god. Okay, it, the stunning thing is quite nice of the bombs, even if it, we're not blanking tears. How did that not get you? The ghosts are so annoying. I hope they get reworked. They won't, though. Right, in we go. Mushroom boy. Wow, no, not a single 
little soul heart for little old me. Come on now. Also, where's all of our mapping all of the time? I swear we haven't had mapping for years. Stop chasing me, you stupid bitches. Yeah, like, we. I feel like we haven't had mapping in a while. I probably had it last floor and just don't remember. I'm probably just remembering the times I haven't had it. These guys can be a real pain. But we've got fart clouds, so that might save us. Are we not dead yet, dude? We've actually got kind of low damage for how far into the game we are. Nine damage isn't great. I mean, I've definitely had a lot lower, so I'm not going to complain too much. Really, these enemies again? <laughs> I did... No. I contest this. You shit. Stop. Ooh. Now this could be good. Suck all of it and give me plenty of soul hearts, please. It gave me dead eye. I'll definitely take dead eye. Okay. The bewitching tears. Okay. Oh my god, a soul heart. God, I actually do feel like there's a chance we lose this run. Like, health is just dwindling and dwindling and dwindling. Also, mapping. Please, where am I going? I hate going the wrong way. It's so frustrating. Dead Eye should be really good for us here, by the way. If only we could hit this dude. Oh shit, these guys don't stop shooting. Okay. A dime? Not that it's useful, but thanks. I mean, there's, there's certain items we could get that would make it useful. Oh, god damn it. I want to go the right way for once, please. This is not the right way. You again? God damn it. Where am I going? I do not know. This way, maybe? Oh, god. This enemy is not one we want bouncing around the room like a madman. Now, Book of Revelations. I think I now have to take because I didn't have to trade HP for it. Well, the fact that we've got battery, baby. F fucking okay. This is like the fourth time I've been hit because something just spawned on me. I, I don't like that. Stop spawning things on me. It's not fair. Also, stop spawning things. That would also be nice. And there's so many of these angel dudes. Far too many. Far too many of these dudes. I need to remember I don't have flight anymore. I'd fly all runner now I don't. It's very strange. Okay. Oh, you bastard of a room. This room sucks so much ass. Especially when the host doesn't pop up. Ugh. I'm getting irrationally frustrated now. <laughs> Just because there's a chance that I lose this godly run. Okay, the bewitching tears is kind of annoying too. Like, I can't hit this guy. Like, th this guy's fucked. <laughs> bewitching tears just ruined him. Um, I'd love that, but the damage is too good. Okay, into the boss fight. This, eh, I don't, I genuinely don't know how this is going to go. We don't have great damage, but Deadeye does make it a little better. He does summon things, which annoys the hell out of me. We are getting slowing tears from Gish, which is nice, but also creates inconsistencies, which could sometimes get us hit even more. We've got a little red baby fella. We, 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 we could just stand right in the middle of a beam. That would also get, get us hit. But, nope, the poop. Oh, that was close. 
And also we're knocking him around like a madman, which is not great either. Oh my god, why am I so bad at this phase now? This this used to be like the easiest phase of any boss fight in the game. And now I'm like, how the fuck do I do it again? Memory come back to me? Knock him around with this fucking soybean is so funny. Like, it's pretty annoying and a pretty kind of useless, but I kind of love it. There should be him dead. Good, good. Okay. Now, our four items here could be influential on how well this all goes. Let's see. That definitely helps. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. That's not. And... No. We got Envy. So we, we have like all the transformations going right now. But also, big booms on Blast. We'll be, we'll be big booming it the whole way. The whole damn way. Big booms everywhere. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fire. Oh. Damn it, I contact damaged that guy. It's okay, we got tons of health, which should be okay. Just don't get telefragged by this boy doing his little feats. I mean, you can't get telefragged by the feet, but still. Another soul heart. Secret room here. Ba -ba -ba -bom -ba -boy. What in the fucking life of shit is this? I mean... Ping pong balls are definitely saving my life right now, and the bombs knocking everything away, but normally this room would be very hard to survive. It tries to push him away, but just can't. It's funny. The damage that these bombs do is, is pretty insane, too. I'm going to say, don't you dare hit with another brimstone while you're on that little health. Oh my god, we pushed them off the map. Whee! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of crazy. Oh my god. Bewitching Tears is, is making this problematic too. Okay, yeah, don't push these guys away. It just prolongs the fight for an un unnecessary amount of time. God damn, this with the, the, the bombs that do AoE damage and stun would be so fucking good. I, I just love the amount of fucking transformations we've got this run. It's crazy. Oh, I just saw a tinted rock there. Got your buff. Let's get that tinted rock real quick. Extra soul heart. And there you go. Health's now back to a way healthier point. Like, we are now absolutely fine in terms of health. God, it just knocks them around so much. It's great. We just have so many things that do knock back. Kind of hard to keep track of what the hell's going on. The screen is a little messy right now. There you go. Oh, my God. I did manage to get hit there. That's okay, though. Wait, there's another fly left? Okay. Golden heart. What up, Chub? Eat that bomb. Very small room for Chub. Oh, an item. Damn. Literally just bomb the hell. Honestly, I, I made fun of fast bombs. Fast bombs would be insanely OP on this setup. Like, ungodly OP. It'd be so amazing. Deleting tiers left, right, and center, doing crazy damage. This is so good. That was amazing. But there you go. Yet another win onto the win streak. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Pretty fun one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.